Okay, following on from part one of our tutorial on how to make a sculpted chair using Blender for Second Life, we wanted to add a little bit more curve to the chair. And we have all the middle vertices selected. We go into side view with the number pad 3 key. And we see it looks really flat. So what we want to do is hit the G key, the Y axis, and move the mouse button, I mean move the mouse to the right a bit and just sort of add a bit of a curve there, that's good enough G key again, Z axis and just drag the mouse down a bit you can't really see what's going on from here hit uh, left click, okay and if we have a look there, we've added a bit of curve to the chair if we go back to side view, you can see that it doesn't look so flat it's more rounded so the next thing we want to do is bake the sculpt map so for that we have to split the screen just move the mouse pointer to this area here right click split area and you'll see that you have this uh, line that you can draw probably about there change this view to UV image editor okay hit come back here hit tab hit A key to deselect everything A key again to select everything and you see this grid now we go image new uh, we'll call it chair uh, underscore sculpt okay uh, operation only available for multi-res 1 which means you just have to come down here to this menu here editing menu hit apply multi-res I'll drag that back down um, then go image new chair sculpt OK and now it's just black so we'll go render bake second life sculpty just hit OK and this will probably take a few seconds uh, but the end result will be our sculpt map the image we use in second life to make sculpties so there it is interesting looking image we'll save that um, chair sculpt yep we'll save it overwrite that one okay that's the sculpt map complete all we have to do now is create a texture for the chair how we do that is using the lights in blender so we'll go space add lamp lamp that'll give us a lamp now, if we go to view, uh, render preview, and we hold it over our chair, we get an idea of what the lamp's doing. Like, for example, if I delete that, it's just black, there's no light at all. So, add lamp, lamp, close this for now, um, and I'll duplicate it, shift D then G, then X, because I want to split it over here. Now I'll select both of them, hold down the shift key, right click this one, drag it along, drag it up a bit, I'll hit shift D again to duplicate them again, and G, Y, um, uh, G, Z to move it down, and let's have a look now. View render preview. It's not too bad, pretty basic. Um, so let's have a look at something I set up a bit earlier. This is the chair, well my version of the chair once it's finished with all the tweaking. Really you should just keep tweaking till um, you get the shape that you want. okay it's pretty cool to be able to preview it like that so we'll split the area again put the UV image editor right click on the chair and this time image new we'll call it chair skin hit OK 
Oh, actually, I had to hit tab to go into edit mode. Do the same thing again. Image uh, chair skin. And now I come down here. Let's move this up. Actually, I have to move this right up for this. Um, go to the buttons menu. And we want to bake a full render. So let's hit bake. Now, this will take some time. And the end result will be the texture we'll apply to the chair in Second Life to give it some basic shading and improve um, overall how its overall look. Okay. okay, it's finished baking. Another way to have a quick look at the chair is change to textured mode. And so that's what it should look like. Now let's have a look. Oh, first, let's make sure we save our image. The chair skin. Now let's go have a look at what it looks like in Second Life. Okay, okay here we are in my locally hosted OpenSim. Um, it's pretty much the same as Second Life, but we won't have to uh, spend any of our tight budget um, just yet. So the first thing we want to do is upload, uh, bulk upload, the sculpt chair, sculpt and chair skin. I'll just hold down control to add more and remove more, but we just want those two. Okay, paid zero dollars, zero dollars, that's good. Um, there is the preview, I'll just close that, our sculpt. Okay, so we build just a cube. Um, I'll stretch that to make it a bit bigger so we can see. Okay, so the object, we want the building block type to be sculpted. And what we'll do is just drag the chair sculpt onto this window here, the sculpt texture. And you can see it's already changed shape in the background there. Let's have a look at that actually. Move it up. Alright, now we want to put our texture on there. Drag the chair skin to the texture. And there we go. We'll change the color just to make it a bit more interesting. Change the time of day. Midday bit brighter and that's pretty much it um, that's the chair from the tutorial it looks pretty good but it doesn't look as good as my chair which is really the finished uh, product so um, good luck with the tutorial you can download the blend file and the sculpt map and chair texture from my website just look at the info wherever you see this video. Okay.